Hello and welcome to another episode, I think it's episode two, of How Do I Do That? All right, the, the how do I in question is modifying ETS2 mods that are in another language. The Trailers and Cargo Pack by Jazzy Cat is in a mixture of what I found to be Ukrainian and Russian or Cyrillic. So how do I change it so it's in English? As you saw in the video today, the Mod Spotlight, I have mine in English. And some of you are going, well, that's really awesome. I'd like to have mine in English, please. Well, the way to do that is not terribly complex, but complex enough that we probably need to talk about it. So Trailers and Cargo Pack by Jazzy Cat. Here's the download. I unzipped it using 7-zip into this file folder. Here's all the cute little thumbnails that he has included, he or she has included, has all of the various little things. This can become important to you down the road to identify things, but that's all the thumbnails. All right, we're not going to worry about those. What we're worried about is this. This is the .scs file that has all of the trailers in it. But here's the secret. The .scs file is only a rename. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to click in here. So I'm just going to soft click into this SCS file. And so I'm going to rename it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the .scs off and call it a .zip file. It's going to ask me, do I really want to do this? I'm going to say, yes, I do. So now I have a .zip file that I can open. The secret of the .scs file is it's nothing more than a zip file. So renaming it to .zip, now I can get access to all of the information inside. So I can go into vehicle and I can see the various, you know, things that are going on here. So I have gone into vehicle trailer Euro. So let's just say I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say, um, I don't know, mega. And he's got all of this information down here, just describing all of the information about the mega. That's great. Awesome stuff. But we're going to go back a little bit because there's also, I just wanted to cover all the bits of it. There's the model here, which has overlay and traffic. And then we go, go back far enough here into my definition, into my trailer. And then we see all of these .siis, and you can even look into these .siis, or I can anyway. Um, let me do this. Let's take this guy here, and I'm just going to extract this. And the reason I'm going to extract it is it makes it a little bit easier. You can work within the zip file, but honestly, it's just easier to extract this out. Okay. So let's go back into... It's not right. Where was I? Model? Yeah. No. Derp, 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 derp. Nope. <laughs> Must have been in def. There we go. Um, trailer. I've got all these trailers. Let me just grab flatbed here. And then I've got all these .sii files. The .sii files have a little bit of information in here. Model collisions, all this stuff. I don't want to mess with any of this stuff, but I can get access to it. I'm using Notepad++, which lets me read just about every file in here. Now, I just have to remember, I think it's, I keep going into model, but I don't think it's model. I just have to remember where it is. I think it's in vehicle. Um, no. It's not an automat. I know that, so it's got to be yeah, okay. I think it's these guys. Agri Farm. Let's edit this. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So where am I? I am in Def Cargo. So if I go down here and I go to, say, Cigars. Let's edit this in Notepad++. And that's the name. Well... <laughs> That's what's going to appear when you are looking through your freight listings is this. I don't know what that means, obviously. So what I'm going to do, 
It's going to open to my other screen and I'm going to give it a moment to load properly here. And then I'll bring it into the other screen. All right, so what I do is I just pull out the good old Google Translate. I tell it, I want English, detect the language. And then we just do a little bit of uh, copy paste, Cuban cigars. So now, come back in here. Cuban cigars, save. That's it. That's how I change all the names. It is an intensive process because you are going through all of these files. And I did go through all of these. Now, some of them are kind of hard to tell um, because, I mean, he did a, he or she did a pretty good job. Let's just call him Jazzy Cat. Jazzy Cat did a pretty good job of naming the .si files properly. But every once in a while, like this, mining device. Uh, I don't know what that means. Let's copy it. Let's see what it says it is. Transporter. Huh. Don't know what that is. So what I did is I would come in here and I'd go um, mining device. I'd call it that. And then I'd go into the game and I'd find it and I'd look at it and see if I could identify what it really was. I don't remember what it was. I could go and look. Actually, let's go. Uh, actually, let's not. <laughs> I'd have to go find it. Um, but that's how I identified the things that I just couldn't figure out what they were. Uh, no. Okay. So once I've done this, I'm, I just need to zip all of this back up. Now, what I usually do in these situations is, all right, we take a bunch of these, copy of them. How do I? Oops, too far. Def cargo. Paste. And then I copy and replace. So you got to do it multiple times. But um, then that compresses it. And the reason I do that is the compression routine might be different and that could cause issues. So I never want to completely unzip this. I want to be able to access it. So you notice I have this. I unzipped it. So I have the two halves. I make my changes in my def here. There we go. Once I've finished this, I'm going to copy all of this stuff. Do a nice control lay on all 142 of them. And I'm, then I'm going to direct access my zip file go into my cargo and paste them and override it 142 times to a copy and replace 142 times. And then final step is this guy. Really windows? Really? All right. So first things first, only crazy people and people who have a brand new computer, <laughs> you're going to make me hate you, aren't you, Windows? Yeah. Um, only people who have a brand new computer who haven't actually fixed it um, can't see their uh, their extension on here. Once you're done, you need to rename this as a .scs. Okay, so it's a .zip right now. I, um, I always hate trying to... Um, Folder and search options. That's what I want. View. Where is that extension? There we go. Hide extensions for known file types. That's stupid. Don't ever do that. Windows does that by default. Windows is stupid. Um, <laughs> so now I've got my, my dot zip. Then all I got to do is come in here. Rename it as a dot SCS. And boom, it's ready to load into Eurotruck Simulator. So that is how you rename anything you want. Um, and I found when I was doing this that having this out was helpful because every once in a while I could identify it. In fact, that mining equipment thing is this thing right here. I'm almost positive. It's either that one or that one. One of these two. <laughs> now I'm not so positive. One of these two is the uh, mining equipment that we, we looked at. Um, you just figure it out. 
in the game. Um, and there's, there's a few that you really have to make a, a, an educated guess at. And I'm trying to see the ones that I was having the worst trouble with. Um, cause a lot of times it'll just say like transporter and you're like, what is that? Um, and, and you just kind of have to figure it out like this right here. It's some sort of drilling rig or some sort of con- pressure vessel. I don't know. So I just figure I just guessed on a name and I, and that's what it is. Um, and that's what you can do. And that's the nice thing about, about renaming these yourself. So in the future, if you ever have a mod that you download that is in a foreign language and you want to change it from that language into your native language, be it English, be it Dutch, be it French, whatever you want, just remember, you're going to take that .scs file, you make it a .zip, then unzip it, and in this case, in the def, in cargo, is where I went. And then I use Notepad++. Link is in the description of Notepad++. It is the best all-round editing software out there for handling all of this kind of wacky, wackadoodle stuff. And then you just come in here and you say, edit with Notepad++, and you change that name to whatever you want. Keep the quotes, but change that to whatever you want. You can also, by the way, um, change mass. If you want to increase the mass of the vehicle, you can change how fragile it is, and you can change the price coefficient, which is the multiplier of the price, if you feel like doing that. That's up to you. I don't usually mess with this um, unless I see something glaringly wrong. Um, I just come in here and play with that right there. Okay, that's how you edit a ETS2 mod to change it to your native language. It would be wise of you to not do more than do it for your own personal use. Do not upload Jazzy Cat's entire pack translated into Dutch without going and asking Jazzy Cat if they, if you can do that. But for your own personal use, this is how you edit an ETS2 mod. Till next time when I find some other thing to talk about, spend their tubbers with a, how do you do that?